Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Yo, 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 I just fucked with James a little bit, big surprise, you but You fucked with really, me? I... What else is new? That's like your, it's like your uh, favorite thing to do when I'm around. Me. Wait, I gotta figure out where we gotta go, man. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, shit, why don't we take this? Chozo Ruins? God damn it. We oh, yeah, because I was telling you about the thing that you can go to in Chozo Ruins. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, um... Go backwards. So, <laughs> at the end, Whoa. so it turns out Elliot was... Not being serious when he was like, The Game Boy Conquer wasn't good? I thought he was being serious because I'm a gullible motherfucker. Uh, I'm just going to say this really quick because you, you can find this this information elsewhere in far more detail. Conquer was going to be a... Did you know Conquer was going to be a kid-friendly game at first? Yes, you told me that. Oh, okay. So yeah, it was going to be... Before uh, the N64 game, uh, 12 Tales came out, they were... Uh, it was going to be called 12 Tales Conquer 64. They uh, made a Game Boy game, and they released it before they ended up having to change it to Bad Fur Day. So, oh, really? Yeah, dude. So that standalone game was supposed to complement the N64 game, but then they turned it into an M-rated South Park-ish game. So <laughs> they don't exactly uh, coincide with one another. They don't really gel. Yeah. So They don't really Dr. Scholl. So, but yeah, no, that's, if you're interested in that story, just... Look it up on YouTube. Look There's... more on the web page. Or just look it up on Rare... Just type in Rare Replay, the history of Conquer. You, it's very interesting. You you still gotta watch the Rare Replay behind-the-scenes videos, don't you? I'm not you? allowed. My mom said so. Well, fuck your mom. You wish. I'm sorry. I feel like a <laughs> jerk. I hope she's not watching this video. <laughs> okay, so anyways. No more Conquer. Anyways. There's... What was I gonna fucking talk about? Oh, so, hey, guess what? What? You remember how in episode 15, you were having to jump across those snow platforms that were on the water, and you kept falling over and over? Yeah. Yes. You know how in my, I said in my spare time, I've been playing Metroid Prime for the first time ever? Yes. When I went through oh, that section, I got through it on the first try, and didn't fall even once. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So, remember how I was like... Maybe you should get. Maybe should I do it? And you were like, "No, no." Yeah, because I knew I could do it the next time. It was because I was in the middle of thinking about what we we're talking about. I'm more competent than you at that section. Ha 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 ha. I doubt it. Yes, I am. No, I doubt it. Yes, I am. I doubt it. I am. I doubt it. I am. I doubt it. I doubt it. Okay. Anyways. I doubt it. You know, it's really hard to like tick Elliot off. He's what? not really bothered by stuff. I doubt it. Yeah. Exactly. See. <laughs> You know, you know what I think your secret is, Elliot? What? You, you, th th this is something I've heard people bow, bow, say bow, they do. Bow, 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 bow. No, I'm giving you some background music. What music is that? Bow, 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 bow. Elliot, what he does is he makes fun of himself so much that when somebody else tries to, it just doesn't work. Because he already does it for them, so there's no fun in it. That is the secret to, uh... I think that was the X-Files music, by the way. So, so yeah, was I right? Uh, no, you just have real shit self-esteem and just hate yourself so much that you transcend being human, and then there's no <laughs> way that you can get bothered. You're just like, man, I'm just a pile of fucking shit. Ah, okay. By the way, I'm kidding. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, I do not have low self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'd say you and I both have a pretty solid self-esteem overall. No, I think I just, like, uh, yes, yes, I agree. I, um, uh, I think that I just have learned to not try and care about... Just not give a shit. Yeah. I mean, obviously there are things I'm sure I still give a shit about and get mad at. at. Like when people sneeze and don't cover their oh, mouth. Yeah, I'm triggered. <laughs> but, um, for the most part, yeah, I mean, if it's a joke, I can just like, it's a fucking joke. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I, I, I'm a little bit more on the sensitive side. Like, I, I, I try to let things roll off too, but it, I, I, I'm probably a little bit more sensitive than you with that kind of stuff. Mm. I, at least I think so. Sure. I don't know. Would, would Nothing you, wrong with that. Would you agree... About that at all? Yeah. I'm more of a sensitive I, Not that person. that's bad. I'm not that sensitive. Which is funny. Um, my family thinks I'm a very sensitive person. Oh, really? They think I'm very sensitive. Wow. Yeah. Whoa, they should meet me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's Or a lot of other people. I, I don't know what it is, but yeah, they, they take me like defending something or calling bullshit on things like I'm sensitive about it. I'm like, I'm not sensitive. I'm just saying you're fucking wrong. 
<laughs> like they'll just say like, or they'll just be like, yeah. They just like you think I, they misinterpret your uh, true emotions. Definitely, definitely. Like wow, I'll, I'll get like mad about something like, oh, this thing's bullshit, and they're like, you don't have to be so sensitive. I'm like, I'm not sensitive. It just pisses me off. You don't have to be so sad about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't have to be so sensitive. I'm not fucking sad. Yeah. You guys are fucking sad. Um. Yeah, it's funny. It's just like you're too sensitive. I'm like, I. I don't think I'm a very sensitive, overly sensitive person at all. No, that's, I, I never get that vibe from you. Like, yeah. Um, hey, hey speaking of, there, there's actually, a, there was something I, I was going to talk about, but mm-hmm. this is actually something that just popped up. I wanted to, so, I remember uh, <laughs> at some earlier episode in this series, I said that I think that you're a, a poli- bleh. I just broke. Politically I said that, that you're more on the PC side of things, and you yes. disagree with that. Yes. I'd like to, you know, I've I've been meaning to talk to you about that in our spare time. Okay. And, and try to understand it better. Okay. So, but hey, let's just talk about it now. You don't think you're PC? Um, we could have a better conversation off, but I will try and give some shed, set, shed, 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 shed some light onto that. In the next four minutes. In the next four <laughs> minutes. I just think, um... Hmm. Like what's like what's your definition of PC, PC or, or like what's the like, general definition? <clears throat> okay, so let's just pick a concrete example to start this conversation off. Okay. And again, like I would be able to articulate a little more off camera because I uh, just people get too offended by things they shouldn't get offended by. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I. It's something I don't like to talk about too much on camera. Oh, really? Yes, but I, I, so I'm trying to pick my words very carefully not okay. to offend anyone. Okay. I think. Did I just go in a fucking circle? Yeah, I did. No, yes, I did. I guess. Oh, you did? Okay, so those were like shortcuts to places. Sorry, I'm not ducking your. Talking about complicated things while trying to focus yeah. on. Okay, complicated... here, here. Oh. Let's go here. This is blue. Have we been going in the wrong way? No, I just. We, I don't know where the fuck to go next. And, oh, well, there's let's that right there. Let's try here. Hmm. Tower of Light. Okay, let's try and go here. Which... Sorry. <laughs> You're fine, dude. Okay, turn around. All right. I think that people are way too sensitive to certain things, like certain words, certain um, like jokes, right? Like me. Even if I don't find something funny, right? Let's say somebody makes a joke about um, being skinny. Right? Uh-huh. I'm picking this arbitrarily. I do not think that this is an issue with being skinny or anything. I'm... Again, this is why I don't like talking about it on camera. I feel like I have to, like... I'm challenging King Cletus right now. Yeah. I'm challenging him. Challenge me, baby. You're growing as a person thanks to me. You're welcome, Elliot. Continue, please. Oh, I don't agree with that. Oh. What, why do you think I'm growing as a person? Because I'm challenging you. Challenges make you grow. Yeah, I'd say I'm more, like, just trying not to piss off people. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm um, moving on. <laughs> okay, so if if I say, like, oh, man, let's make a skinny joke. You know why Brenda doesn't eat fucking shit? Because she's so goddamn skinny. Like, okay, I don't think that joke is funny, right? Yeah, yeah. But, like, somebody might be like, oh, you're skinny shaming someone, right? Like, that would uh, be PC, right? Oh, okay. That's PC. Like, I don't fucking, like, if Brenda gets offended by that, like, Brenda needs to take a look at herself and be like, shit, that was a stupid joke. This person is, like, not very educated about this. They're making a dumbass joke. Why should I, like, look into it and be bothered by this person just not knowing what the fuck they're talking about? Yeah. It's a dumb joke. Let's leave it at that. That's, that's the super TLDR. I'm not gonna step on anyone's fucking toes. Basically, my reaction to it is, like, Life is shitty. It's a fucking joke. Get over it. You know, there's actually b- before we end this episode, there is actually yeah. um one story I can think of in my life that would uh, apply to this. Uh, there was a uh, sure. there was a uh, this one time in college. I, mm-hmm. I was with a friend of mine, and uh, she she showed me a picture of a girl who had really short hair, and y- you know the stereotype that like if a girl has short hair. It means they're like a lesbian. Okay. Obviously, that doesn't apply to everybody. Yes, it's a generalization. Yeah. So I saw that and I said as a joke, "Oh, she's probably a les- lesbian." Yeah. <laughs> and she said, and she, she took it to it in a defensive way, and she said, "Uh, no, James. Any, 
anybody can any girls can have short hair and be straight and they're not necessarily gay and i was like right i know that i was just making a joke you don't ha- uh and then right. i left the room that's what i mean by pc like for like again don't feel bad i don't think that that joke is like funny to me yeah no like, it's not it's just not funny to me but i'm not like oh man like that really hurts my feelings uh-huh. so and again, I mean, I also understand audience listeners that, <laughs> no, I'm not the target of that joke. But guess what? I have been the target of stupid fucking jokes, and I'm I'm getting really passionate about this. Can we get some, like, bam, bam, some marching music? Let me just, dun, let me just dun, tell dun, you guys, dun, dun, you're gonna, you're gonna, no, I mean, like, edit some in. Some, like, official marching music. You know, I am, I am speaking to you, audience. You will live a happier life if you can just get your skin a little bit thicker, not give a shit about what people are joking. They have some stupid ass jokes, so just suck it up and be merry. Next time on Royal Goobs, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs>